Hello everyone and welcome to Sunzi Library's Teen Art Program. My name is Jasma Culley and for today's craft we will be creating a green and or purple pinata dinosaur egg to smash during summer parties. After introductions, we will first ask for parental guidance, then go over both the given and needed materials, then you may follow along to the tutorial which you can pause at any time. After the tutorial is finished, there will be examples of RCLS materials from our online catalog as well as contact information for Sun City Library. This project does not need parental guidance. These are the materials each take-home kit will have, as well as the materials you need to supply on your own. So let's begin our craft. So here is a quick glance of all the materials needed. Here I am beginning the process by making my half and half flour and water mixture. Make sure you stir it nice so it's not clumpy anymore. Then next here is the balloon all blown up. Here you can see that I ripped my newspaper up by hand off camera. Uh, it's best to do it two inch wide and maybe five inches long. Here I am uh, pressing the newspaper into my flour mixture and then um, making sure it's wet and very gently pulling it from the top and pulling it through my fingers. Make sure it's nice and damp, but make sure you're very careful because they are easy to rip. Here I am pulling the balloon closer to me because the newspaper is now wet enough to go on top of it. I go ahead and gingerly place it on top and um, press very slightly on it so there's no um, bubbles of air between the balloon and newspaper. Here I am getting another wet piece of paper that was already dunked in the flour and placing it on top of the previous newspaper. I go, went ahead and put it on top at least an inch and I'm going to repeat uh, the process until I finish one whole side. After completing one side and putting newspaper down um, on top of each other, I go ahead and um, spin the balloon slightly so I can go ahead and do the same process on each side of the balloon. Make sure you don't see any green spaces when you are putting on the first layer of the newspaper. If you have to go over it with multiple uh, pieces of paper, that's completely fine. Just remember we're going to keep doing um, at least five layers. All right, here is our first layer. As you can tell from the top, I didn't close it completely because that's where we're going to put our candy. So this is the next day, and I noticed that since I did put it in the bowl on its side, unfortunately it did not dry correctly, and a piece of the newspaper was stuck against the bottom, so I found that using a cup to set it um, made it dry better and also didn't touch the newspaper directly. So you'll see in a bit that I will go ahead and place the balloon in a cup. So I highly recommend doing that instead. Learning process. I also happen to notice a slight crack even on the dry side of the newspaper, which is completely fine since it is only the first layer. It's an easy fix. You will go ahead and just grab the newspaper and uh, go over the crack as well as a hole on the bottom that you saw. After my first layer of going horizontal in my strip placement, I went ahead and started going vertical instead. I feel that 
it might have helped. I'm not completely sure, but I just decided to do it and it turned out pretty good. So if you'd like, you can start doing vertical instead. And here is the second layer of the newspaper vertically placed instead. I also decided to put um, the balloon on a larger cup with the candy hole inside of the cup. Uh, it's easier to see for one and it's also a better drying process. After my fifth or sixth layer of newspaper and flour mixture, I decide to go over it with uh, tissue paper that's white and a mixture of half glue and half water. This will make it stronger and it'll make it easier to paint white over the newspaper images and um, words. After I glue down a layer or two of the white tissue paper, I allow it to dry and then I begin uh, creating circles uh, with pencil so I can begin painting the white and purple or green paint. At this point in the video, I just get my paint ready to um, go on to the egg. I mixed white and vanilla together. Of course, you can just use one color, it's totally fine. And then I used the purple or green paint that you will be supplied. And I just went over the circles. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I did like um, to get a smaller brush that I had on my own and made the lines a little more crisp. All right, so after the white and green paint did dry, I went ahead and started to pop the balloon. It's a lot of fun. Um, just go a little easy on it. I just use a sharp knife. You can use scissors or anything. Just be very careful. Uh, you just need to poke it a little bit and it should deflate um, super fast like you see here. And here I am stuffing it with candies and little small dinosaur toys. After I put uh, candy and toys in there, I go ahead and make the holes for the string that's going to pull it up. Uh, I just use a hold puncher. It's going to be a little difficult since there's so many layers, but make sure you do at least four so the weight isn't uh, too heavy on one point in particular. Here I am putting the string uh, in the holes and then continue to close up the candy hole with some more flour and newspaper.
After the flour mixture and newspaper is dry, I go ahead and grab a pencil and make some more hole decorations or designs and paint white and uh, green on top of it. Of course, this part, you won't see it that well when you're um, hanging it to be smashed open. So here I am um, doing the finishing touches on the top of the egg. I just went ahead and painted the newspaper and uh, the green um, speckle and that's pretty much done. If you enjoyed following along, feel free to browse our online catalog at rivlib.net for materials that inspired this month's craft. Again, it's rivlib.net. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!